getting on that wave yeah the loopy wave yeah and i'm on that surfboard wave because I'm, I'm riding that wave driving down the road at 65 pour the milk on that loopy <laughs> fruit loopy yeah if you were a janitor would you wear gloves uh for everything but the toilet <laughs> <laughs> What is the sun? I believe it's a ball of gas. If we were like, I don't know, 2,000 years ago, let's okay. say we were wearing togas or something. Yeah. Like linen cloths, loin okay. cloths, you know. Okay, can you give me a precise like AD or BCE? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like let's say, BC, let's um, say 240 uh, BC. BC, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Um, and we're just like, you know, in the desert or whatever. Yeah. And we're looking around. Uh, there's not a lot of food ev- anywhere. We're, we're probably like, you know, 25 nearing death. Okay. Uh, because that was about the age where yeah. <laughs> people yeah. die. Unless you were in Greece. Uh, <laughs> and they, they lived to like 75. So, and then what if, what if I told you okay. that there was, with knowing what you know, which is, how to poop and how to eat and what and maybe yeah. maybe maybe why <laughs> if i told you there was a ball of fire in the sky and you weren't supposed to look at it <laughs> i'd be i'd be crazy right you'd be like i'm gonna look at this i'm gonna look at it well had i seen the sun before well yeah but if or was I it was, always cloudy or something like is this the you... first time i've seen the sun or are you just explaining the sun to me no i'm just explaining let's say like we see an elder yeah. and this elder explains that there's a sun to us yeah. and like from this point we've always been in like a cave or something and then now we're just going out into the world okay. and then he's just kind of prepping us for our journey yeah and he's like but don't look up because there's, there's a, a ball of fire a ball of fire in the sky in the sky that will burn your eyes out would you look um yeah of course <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> because you're i'd have right to away. see if there's a ball of fire in the sky <laughs> <laughs> well i'm what i'm getting from this is like i'm not surprised that ancient ancient civilizations syllabus the the syllabus they they uh worshiped the they sun. all had syllabus syphilis <laughs> <laughs> no they all worshiped the well sun. i was about to say uh i would say like no that's um that's jesus except oh it's 200 bc i'd say no that's that's uh elijah that's on his yahweh. chariot of fire yahweh i don't think that they would be saying that oh yeah you can't the, the, it's the unpronounceable name i don't think the folks who are who who are uh, of that religion like to say that his name but before <laughs> that's we... why they put no vowels in it <laughs> you yeah but before we knew about about the sun and all the science right. behind it and everything isn't that just kind of terrifying but it's also just think about it but think about it right now <laughs> how do we know all the science behind it and uh, has anyone been to the sun <laughs> I think yeah, I think we should go to the sun. <laughs> I think we should be the you first. We'll be the first people to go to the sun. Cause think about it. Did they ever send an astronaut to the sun? No. They ever sent a, a rocket to the sun? No. Moon landing was fake. There's a Mars <laughs> rover. Well, that was fake. But there's a Mars rover, right? Yeah. I believe in that. Why isn't there a sun rover? You know what? Let's just start a draft to NASA today. Okay. 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 Let's start it here. Dear NASA. We're um, we've, t- you've never been to the sun. You you don't know us. You don't know us, but we've heard of you. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And uh, starting yes. with uh, yes. starting with uh, first things first, we know that the Earth is round, but do we know that the sun is a ball of fire in the sky? I don't believe it. Do you think that they'd even like bother answering us? I don't think they even bother answering like the little kids who ask to be an astronaut one day. <laughs> so like, I don't know if they would answer us. What if well, we you know what? You know what? I think. Um, Why you don't know, we send it to Elon I think, Musk? I think. I think we're both happy with how our podcast is doing. Yeah. And I think if uh, perhaps it continues on an upward trend, and and maybe we uh, get get more and more listeners, perhaps the NASA will respond to us. So yes. uh, if you guys, uh, if you guys really push, uh, push to NASA that perhaps that uh, everybody we should spam be email about. NASA. Yeah. I assume you guys know the email to NASA. Yeah, and then they'll get like maybe 30 to 50 emails <laughs> and uh, that might be enough Man, 30 to 50. <laughs> it's a lot of emails oh my god like you know and if geez if everyone who's ever played our podcast like they'd be getting hundreds of emails yeah so the uh headquarters agency in washington dc uh it is uh nsc-2 
contact center at nasa dot go uh, dot gov gov uh so check that out it should Email be nasa dot go because we uh, want to go to the sun <laughs> <laughs> when i go to the sun when i go when i go to the sun so if we were to play rock paper scissors right now to see who would go do you want to you want to do that i'd want us both to go to the sun are you saying that one of us would have to like stay on base camp well if one of us is mission control because i assume that nasa doesn't want anything to do with us Oh, so, so we're gonna have to go ourselves. Yeah, so we're, we're funding have to start it a ourselves. Go, a GoFundMe to go to the, the sun. To go to the sun. <laughs> okay, well, we'll put that. Can we into call the description. our Can we call our rocket Icarus? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be good, right? Yeah. Why did even Why did they know back then? That's an old legend, but they still thought, oh, you know, there's a ball of fire in the sky that would melt wings. Yeah, that's actually a good. How old is How, Icarus? What is that? Well, that's like ancient Greece. Oh my god. And he flew too close to the sun, and his wax wings melted. Is that the story? That's 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 the story. He Why was are his an wings inventor. made of wax? Because he was an inventor. What? He couldn't have, they couldn't have made it out of something else? No, because all he had was wax. And wax doesn't even fly. Like what? I don't know. He's a candle maker. Wax doesn't fly. Jesus. Wax Christ. doesn't fly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Could you imagine trying to flap bees your fly. arms? Bees fly. Yes. And bees wax. That's the, <laughs> that's the connector. That's the connector. But th- that's Clearly. let's think about it. They they somehow knew that the sun was hot. Is that because like on a hot day they'd be like, oh, and put their hand up and be like, that's a hot. <laughs> that's a hot. That's a sun. hot time. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're probably like, imagine how hot it would be if I was like, any closer. <laughs> like really? imagine if I walk yeah. up to the top. Like, of imagine this if hill. I walk to the top of this <laughs> this building here uh, with let's okay guys let's first let's make a ladder. Do you think I it's don't hotter? know what that is yet, but we'll invent it. Do you think it's hotter? Like if I was standing on the ground versus like, thirty on a feet in the air on on you know hill. Well, or heat something? rises. They say like it's always hotter upstairs than downstairs. Does that work outside? Is it ever hotter in a tree? I feel like it's windier up there though because clouds. Yeah, that's Cl- and, well. That's just that's wind. why the peaks of m- mountains have like su- have snow mm. uh, on the on them, right? Because it's colder. Because it's colder. So so why is it why hotter? is it hotter when you go? Yeah, man, man, the sun. See, fake. you know what? The sun is <laughs> co- totally fake. The sun. You know what? New idea. <laughs> New no no totally. I got it. I got it. Yeah. There's a magma in the center of the earth. That's what's heating us. Is the magma, and that's just a light in the up. The sun's just the light. sun is just a light. And it's just a reflection of the moon. Right. And it doesn't actually produce any heat. Yeah. Because as you go up and further away from the magma, that's it colder. In, it gets colder. That's why space is so cold. Why does, why yeah, does the sun's Yeah, because why is the sun rays, supposed to be so hot why, if space is so cold? Why do the sun's rays go directly into the, into yeah. the earth, in, well, allegedly? Okay. Think about it this Wait. way. Think about it this way. Space is supposed to be so cold. Yeah. Okay? It's not cold just because it's filled with water. Okay? It's literally space is literally closer to the sun, yeah, than we are, and yet, and yet the sun is so hot. So here's what we do. You know how like how Despicable Me they stole the moon, yeah. We steal the sun, yeah. Of course, we steal the sun. I don't even. I think it's a projection, man. Like I think like it's literally like a. It's like I think like a projection of what? I don't know. What if it's what if the sun itself is like the portal to another universe, and so when Icarus went up there. He just got sucked in. His, the- his wings just fell in. Yeah. And then, because he feel like there's this famous, there's that famous port, like a uh, picture from like the Renaissance or whatever of Icarus, Icarus falling into- oh. into like water. So he fell. <laughs> he fell. <laughs> he fell. <laughs> okay. So me. guys, uh, we're going to start a poll then. And, uh, Please just click click yes if you want to uh, join us on this trip to the sun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm going to the sun. Yeah, we're gonna have a GoFundMe, we'll go and uh, we we'll can go actually me. we'll live up to it. Nice, we'll live up to our flag. Yeah, that we, uh, yeah, that we, that made. we made it Except all the way back. Instead in the of the day. moon, it'll be the sun. And well, you know what? We'll also live up to our GoFundMe promise of going to the sun if we actually reach the the goal. The goal, and if we don't, we'll just we'll uh, we'll take the money. We'll and take the money and we'll buy a bunch. We'll of give it to a sun charity, or we'll. Or we'll buy ad space on to try and get more donations for the GoFundMe. We'll, we'll send we'll set up an ads. We make that money. Make make more, uh, more money. money, honey. In- <laughs> <laughs> limousine, more like thanks because you just seen the show. Thanks Guillotine. for seeing in the show. Limousine. Yeah, seen. Chamomile. But we're going back to seen because they seen the show. <laughs> you seen the show. <laughs> yeah.